There is a new medicine out there. It's called Zenrelia. Zenrelia is one of those J kinase inhibitors, and it's an immune modulating drug. And it's pretty exciting. I have so many people come in, guys. Like last week, I had a dog come in, and it had like no fur on its body. Just adopted, and it had very little fur on its body, and it was red all over. It had thickened skin from yeast, and it had all these secondary problems like yeast and bacteria, but it had an underlying allergy. If you guys didn't know, allergies are the most common reason for any, any pet parent to come in to be seen for a problem. When we think of the other medicines in this category, like Apoquil, Apoquil has been great for allergy control, and Apoquil blocks some of the J kinase pathways. Now, there's four J kinase pathways, but the difference between Zenrelia and Apoquil is Apoquil does not block as many pathways. For, so, for how I understand it, is Apoquil blocking less pathways. It's more of a allergy itch regulator. Zenrelia does more of the redness and erythematous changes we see and the inflammation. It blocks more. So there's a more immune modulation with Zenrelia. So Zenrelia, guys, has been out for a second now and is being used more regularly. But there are some precautions we must be taking. There was a study done by Zenrelia, and they had some problems when Zenrelia was given to the doggies that were vaccinated. Here's the deal. Zenrelia is an immune modulating drug. So if you give Zenrelia with any kind of vaccine, you could have problems. So let's backtrack a little bit. And, and get ready. I'm going to do a live show probably on Sunday afternoon. I have a three and a six year old. I get very busy. I'm going to try to level up some of my equipment, get a better microphone, get a better uh, camera for it. And we are going to do some live stuff. And I hope you guys all join me. When we think of vaccines, guys, vaccines are something that stimulates the immune system to produce a response by either T cells or V cells or complement or, or something like that, right? If your dog is on an immune modulator, like Apoquil, Zenrelia, or prednisone, or anything that suppresses or changes the immune system, you have the potential for a couple things. One, you have the potential, and they did see this in the study, for the vaccine to not take effect until a later date. So if you give a vaccine and you look to see if you have an immune response, when you're on an immune modulating drug, the doggy's body may not produce the appropriate amount of a response within an appropriate study time frame. So it looks like Zenrelia had a delayed response for vaccines to produce an appropriate response to get vaccinated you want to have a response that protects the doggy from problems like from from distemper and from parvo and from rabies if you pay and you give a vaccine and you're giving that into the doggy you should have a response then relia did the study and they found out that there was at least at least a delay in how quickly the doggy's immune system responded as well because it's immune modulating there was some negative outcomes when you have a vaccine and you gave Zenrelia, at least one dog had some pretty serious complications to it. So of course, they had to note that on the box. And that's why a lot of veterinarians are being, being very, very cautious with Zenrelia. Now here's the deal. It's an immune modulating drug. So if you, so if you change the immune system, you can definitely have adverse effects if the body is challenged by anything. For that reason, best practice with Zenrelia is to give no vaccines at least 30 days before and 30 days after a vaccine. If you do this, guys, you are going to be quite safe because the study shows that Zenrelia works really well. It makes doggies feel better, more comfortable. They are just really comfortable. And really, guys, Zenrelia is a much better option than giving a dog steroids you know, high doses of steroids for an extended period of time, or even some of those cyclosporin drugs, which are so immunosuppressive, we're trying to give drugs that are less intense and pinpoint and they and they target the problem areas for allergies instead of just, you know, just spraying the whole area trying to control allergies. So because Enrelia 
had that study done, and they found out that doggies had a poor, they had a slow or poor response with the vaccine, and there may be some adverse effects when giving Zinrelli with vaccines. It was recommended that veterinarians wait at least 30 days before and 30 days after any vaccine. So you have a 60 day period of no Zinrelli allergy medicine. Of course, there are different things you can do during this time frame to help do a band aid to help the doggy feel better allergy wise. But guys, if we try to tailor our vaccines to the lowest, you know, time of allergies, maybe trying to give vaccines in wintertime and picking and choosing when to vaccinate and when it gives Zinrelia is really good practice. The thing is, guys, anytime you give any medicine, you have the chance for adverse effects. So you should always be looking at any of your medicines and saying, like, what are my adverse effects and how, what is the best practice to prevent these problems? Nobody wants a doggy. Nobody wants their doggy to be itchy and uncomfortable all the time. I've seen some dogs that are just atrociously uncomfortable chronically, and it's not fair. And people will go to dermatology, and they will do special diets, and they will do all these fancy fad things. And that's great. Like, guys, get it done. Get it done. Be your dog's advocate. There are times, though, that some dogs just have such extreme allergies just like some people have like really serious like dermatological problems, you just need to go pick the medicine that has the least adverse effects and the best results. And we try to do our very best to keep every doggy as safe as possible, but we got to make sure we're doing best practice to keep these doggies happy and healthy. And as a veterinarian, my goal is to make dogs as comfortable as possible, and I will work with everybody as long as possible with different things to tweak the system, either food trials or uh, shampoos or changing the environment. But if we have a chronically uncomfortable dog with chronic secondary problems, yeast, bacteria, what are we doing? We need to be leveling up and going through the different allergy options from Apoquil to Cytopoint to Zenrelia seen dermatology, maybe even a topica, which is kind of out of date, but it still has its place. It's still its place. But we need to be really responsible with making sure and checking in with our doggies and saying, like, how does our skin look? And being being really, really diligent and actually understanding if our doggy is comfortable or not. All right, guys, that's Enrelia. If your doggy's itchy, ask your vet about it. It may be a good option. As always, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. I really appreciate all you guys watching. It means the world to me.